And we're back in the garden now. Dabney is back in this morning. Good morning, Dabney. Good morning. You know, Art and I were watching you on these clouds, and he and I both decided we're going to still take our umbrella with us today, yeah, just in case. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> that's right, Dabney. Now, what do you think about putting the umbrellas in the garden today to keep the plants dry? <laughs> no, the plants keep I'll tell you, we have had plenty of water, but they could always use a little bit more. That's, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, the, talking about the garden, you know, because of the rains we've had, the weeds are popping up to beat yes. the band. So, you know, this is a good time of year to get out into it. shrubs, flowers, all of it. And, and the nice thing about it, because the ground is fairly damp, weeds come up very easily. And, I, you know, it doesn't hurt sure. to go out and pull them by hand rather than trying to use to see how many chemicals you can put out there. Do you want to use gloves though, when you pull weeds? Or do you just... You know, if, if you've gotten a good manicure, wear gloves. Okay. You know, some of us, though, still like the feel of the dirt. And, you, and you know, they've improved the quality of gloves to the point they, that they have some that are these neoprene that are a little bit uh, easier that you can feel through them. But I still do it by hand. Okay, now what about poison ivy, though? Because that's, Oh, yeah, now you get into that. You're right. Fun, if, yeah. yeah, if you've got natural areas where... And even, and I, I someone... Uh, emailed me this past week and you know even Virginia creeper has oil in it and even common ivy to some skins if it gets on you you'll get an irritation not yeah. to the point that I poison ivy will give you but you will get an irritation so it is a good idea that if you're in natural areas where you haven't been maintaining I would certainly wear gloves and even long uh, sleeves so that I've kept the plants from rubbing up against my skin. Yeah, that's a good tip. Now, we have a question here. This is from yes. a, a little bit ago, but uh, Kent had a, had a question about the fall webworms, those mm -hmm. uh, kind of spider-looking <laughs> webs that right. form in the trees. How do you get rid of those? What exactly are they, too? Well, I mean, they you know, there are type, uh, there's a type of moth. There's a spring uh, web ca uh, canker worm. There's a fall. There's a webworm. But keep in mind, any of the damage you're seeing this time of year, you know, I don't get too concerned. Because whatever they eat, their leaves you're not going to have to rake. Now, yeah, if, they're, you <laughs> if, if they're you know if they're unsightly, then there are sprays that you can buy to use. They're natural as well as chemical. But uh, insects in the fall on deciduous plants, and of course again deciduous plants are ones that lose their leaves, and you're going to primarily see these in the trees. They're going to go away, and it's so difficult to try to reach the top of the tree to even treat for it. So. You know, it's almost something we we'll almost have to live with, I think. That, yeah. That's my suggestion. Okay, just kind of let it be because... Right, right, be because they, they're going to go away in, in two to three weeks' time. And uh, now, if, if, they, if you were having a lot of damage, say, middle of summer in June or July, while the plants are still trying to grow and develop, then that's, that's one thing. But now, you know, the season's pretty much over. It's not, what, 20, 30 days before fall. So. Yeah, exactly. It's something to think about there, too. Now, real quick, what about yeah. fall grasses? What should we right. do this time? Well, this, those of us that have the year-round grass, the fescue bluegrass lawns, this is a good time of year to start cleaning those lawns up, uh, treating for weeds. Crabgrass has been a problem this summer because of so much rain. Some of us have some wiregrass. Wiregrass hasn't been quite as bad a problem this year due to the fact that we've had a little milder uh, okay. summer. But uh, now is a good time to treat, and I prefer to use a tank-type sprayer or something self-contained and just spot spray where you have the problem rather than buying these hose in that you treat the whole lawn. You're wasting so much product yeah. and for the environment as well, too. Okay, great. All right, great All tips, right. Abney. Uh, we'll talk more about fall prepare, preparation probably next week yep, then, too. Yeah, absolutely. Getting uh, close now. Yeah, yeah, we are definitely getting close. We'll have a last check of weather and another check of news coming up after this break.